Here we have a system of equations, and we are asked to solve this system by using a method called elimination. Elimination is great. Um, it means that we will eliminate the x's or we will eliminate the y's. Um, we do this by adding the two equations together. We'll just go left to right and we'll add the x's, we'll add the y's, we'll carry down our equal sign, and we'll add the numbers on the end. So what we want to decide from the beginning of the problem is if anything, will anything eliminate right now? And I want to point out we have this positive x with this negative x. That is what we want in order for these x's to eliminate. An x plus a negative x is zero and cancels away. So this system of equations is ready for us to go ahead and add together because we can see that something will eliminate. So we're going to go left to right. First we're going to add the x's. x plus negative x is zero and so I just like to cross those off because that's gone. Now I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to take this negative 4y plus the 3y. Negative 4y plus 3y is a negative 1y equal sign comes down, and then we are looking at adding a negative 18 plus 11. Negative 18 plus 11 is a negative, negative 7. So we added the equations together, we eliminated the x's because we had a positive x and a negative x, and that equals 0 and we add them together, and now we're left with this basic equation where we can solve for y. y is being multiplied by a negative 1, so we'll go ahead and divide both sides by negative 1. That leaves us with y is equal to a positive 7. So we have half of our answer. We're looking for the point where these two lines would cross. You need an x and a y, and we just figured out that the y is a 7. So once you have the y, how do you get the x? All you have to do is take this 7 and plug it in to either the top equation or the bottom equation, whichever one looks easier to deal with. Um, I'll go ahead and pick the top equation. I like to rewrite it off on the side so I can see it. I have x minus 4y equals negative 18. So now that I know that y is equal to 7, I'm going to replace the y with a 7. So I'm going to say x minus, instead of 4 times y, I'm going to say 4 times 7 equals negative 18. Before we start solving, let's go ahead and do that multiplication. Um, x minus 4 times 7 is 28. It's looking sloppy. Equals negative 18. And now we can solve our equation for x. We'll go ahead and add 28 to both sides. And in the end, we have x equal to a negative 18 plus 28 is a positive 10. So we have our x value is positive 10. So we have 10, 7, and that is our solution to the system.